Hello, my name is Chris, and the purpose of this presentation is from our school community service project, and it's about the importance of coral reefs and, edu and to educate others about them in our world. <coughs> coral reefs are beautiful. Anyone who ever had the opportunity to see them would agree. But are they necessary? Do they have a purpose other than to look pretty for scuba divers? snorkelers, and folks in glass bottom boats. <clears throat> what will happen to corals if they were to go away? Is this likely to happen in the near future? What can and should be done about it? But first, let me give you some brief information about corals. Corals are animals, <clears throat> not plants. <clears throat> the term coral refers to a number of different animals. Coral reefs are important ecosystems. They are inhabited by small algae called zooxanthellae. These algae provide the corals brilliant color and use sunlight to perform photosynthesis and providing the coral with necessary oxygen. There are two, there are two kinds of coral, soft and hard. <clears throat> soft coral lack the stiff limestone skeleton that hard corals possess. Instead, they have little limestone crystals, referred to as sclerites, embedded in their jelly-like tissues. <clears throat> hard corals have a white skeleton that is made of limestone, calcium carbonate. Hard corals are reef builders and are responsible for the creation of the structure of a coral reef. Now that you know what's a coral reef, let me tell you the importance of coral reefs. <clears throat> Point two, the world's oceans have coral reefs. It's habitats for a third of marine fishes of all kinds, plus tens of thousands of other marine animals. Coral reefs are the rainforests of the ocean. <clears throat> importance of coral reefs. <clears throat> it provides us with protection of coastlines, economic resources, biodiversity, and natural beauty. <clears throat> protection of coastlines. Coral absorbs the energy of the ocean waves, reduce erosion of the shorelines, store damage, and flooding. <clears throat> economic resources, fisheries for food, fisheries for jobs, tourism, building materials, and aquarium trade. Biodiversity, the rains of the sea, genetic rainforests of the sea, genetic diversity, farm seticals, farm, uh, oh, also, oh, natural beauty. Coral reefs are, are, are valuable to our economy. It provides $375 billion in environmental goods and service. We've so far learned what is a coral and the importance of it. <clears throat> now get to learn the threats of coral reefs. Eleven percent of the reefs have been killed. Sixteen percent of the reefs have are severely damaged. About sixty percent of the studied reefs are threatened by human activities. No pristine reefs remain. There are two major types of threats to coral reefs and their habitats. There are natural and anthropogenic human activities. Natural threats. Hurricanes cause physical damage, smothering, freshwater poisoning, and destruction of other ecosystems. <clears throat> Tsunamis cause physical damage. 
erosion, possible disruption of reproduction and recruitment, volcanoes, depends on where volcano occurs, <coughs> heat, <coughs> smothering and sedimentation. Sedimentation is an is erosion caused by construction both along coasts and inland. Mining, logging, and farming is leading to increased sediment in rivers. This ends up in the ocean, where it can smother corals by depriving them of the light needed to survive. The destruction of mangrove forests, which normally trap large amounts of sediments, is exacerbating the problem. <coughs> Earthquakes have little direct impact. Little du have little direct impact. Indirect impacts. Trigger tsunamis. Coastal landslides. Predators to corals are crown of thorn starfish, snails, the parrotfish, and the butterfly fish. <coughs> Competitors Algae Coral reefs are important as shelter and feeding grounds for a variety of fish species. When there is a massive <coughs> die-off of coral, the bleached coral is colonized by algae. The reef becomes populated only by herbivorous fish, and the reef may never recover. Bleaching Coral bleaching happens when coral polyps, the animals that build corals, shed the algae, zooxanthellae, that gives them their color, and which are necessary for their survival. The corals then white in appearance. <coughs> coral scientists are not sure what causes coral bleaching, but warming water is the most likely the culprit. Corals in the Caribbean and Florida have bleached when sea surface temperatures rose and were higher than the mean surface temps temperature for as little as one month. <coughs> Anthropogenic threats to coral reefs. Overfishing. This affects the ecological balance of coral reef communities, misrepresenting the food chain and causing effects in far past directly overfish population. Pollution, urban and industrial waste, <clears throat> sewage, agrochemicals, and oil pollution are poisoning reefs. These toxins are dumped directly into the ocean and carried by river systems from sources upstream. Some pollutants such as sewage, escape from farming, alter the level of nitrogen in seawater, resulting in overgrowth of algae, which surround reefs by cutting off their sunlight. <clears throat> coral mining. Live coral is taken from reefs for use as bricks, road fills, or cement for new buildings. Corals are also sold as souvenirs to tourists and exporters who don't know or don't care about the long term of destruction done and collected for the live rock train. <coughs> Climate change. Corals can't survive if the water temperature is too high or too low. Global warming has already led to increased levels of coral bleaching and this is predicted to grow in frequency and severity in the coming years. <coughs> Bleaching may be the final nail in the coffin for already stressed coral reefs and reef ecosystems. Careless tourism. Thoughtless boating, driving, snorkeling, and fishing happens around the world <clears throat> with people touching reefs, stirring up sediment, collecting coral, and dropping anchors on reefs. Some tourist resorts and basic structures have been built exactly on top of reefs, 
and some resorts empty their sewage or other waste directly into the water surrounding corals. <clears throat> I hope that this presentation informs people around the world to be aware why we have to take care of our corals in this community in our communities and understand the great importance that this fantastic creature have in our oceans. Thank you for watching this video.